Does cataract surgery remove or cause floaters? While floaters are sometimes associated with retina problems, most floaters are benign. Here is a patient with a benign age-related floater called posterior vitreous detachment, or PVD for short. Floaters are essentially clumps of protein. They are made from collagen. To the patient, it looks like a dark spot or squiggle in their vision that floats around, moving along with their eye movements. This patient's floater, or PVD, was present prior to cataract surgery. You can see it here behind the patient's cataract, within the vitreous cavity in the back of the eye. When their floater first started, they noticed it all the time, and it would drive them crazy. As humans, we adapt. As they neuroadapted, six months to a year later, they only occasionally notice it in their vision. The floater is still there, unchanged, equal in size, but they neuroadapt it and don't notice it much anymore. This large floater can be physically removed with a vitrectomy surgery or broken up into smaller pieces using laser. But cataract surgery will not remove floaters. And so at the conclusion of cataract surgery, it will still be there. If a patient sees new floaters after cataract surgery, their doctor must examine the retina to make sure that the retina is intact. A retinal tear or detachment needs to be ruled out. However, most of the time, the cause of floaters after cataract surgery is benign. The eye's visual system has been just reset by cataract surgery, and the patient may re-see their old floater, which they had previously adapted to. They may need some time to neuroadapt again. Also, the patient may be perceiving floaters in their vision from inflammation after their surgery. Sometimes, microscopic particles from the cataract may be retained in the eye, and if the patient had weak zonules, these tiny cataract particles can float into the space behind the cataract, known as Berger's space. These usually absorb over time. It's also possible for small fragments of cataract to be retained in the eye, which could cause both inflammation and floaters. If you experience new floaters after cataract surgery, have your surgeon examine your eye to find the cause. Here's the patient at the end of cataract surgery, and you can see that the floater is still present behind their new lens implant. For the first couple weeks after surgery, they could see their floater more than they could see it immediately previous to cataract surgery. However, after a couple weeks, the floater went back to baseline and they only see it occasionally when looking at something with a plain background like a wall or the sky. When the background is not plain, there are so many objects within your vision and the floater just gets lost within the clutter. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.